it's unboxing day. I don't think I'm gonna paint, but I got a package from Desairs. And you know, I always forget what I order. So it will be fun also, cause I always find that I get inspired uh, to do something or maybe something I forgot. So let's start opening. Now I know I got a lot of TriArt. I'm trying to fix my hair. TriArt this time, which is a Canadian company. I think you can get it at Blix in the States or yeah, I think Blix. But let's start seeing what we got have here because I'm really loving the consistency of the TriArt. So number one, golden orange. I think I remember now, I think I got a, re a lot of reds because I want to like play around and see which reds I re I'm really liking. So golden orange looks very maroony. Okay. Let's see where I'm going here. I'm trying to get things out of the way. Next we have red oxide tint. In oops, wait. Interesting. It looks like um, a nice for painters who do like portraits. Oh, sorry. Ooh. Okay, stop. There we go. No, no. It looks like a skin hair, but like this. It looks like a nice skin color. Uh, so we'll see about that, won't we? Ooh, I got a big iridescent pearl. I know what I'm doing with this. I have an idea. Well, I'm stealing the idea, actually. I'll tell you about it in a minute. But iridescent pearl. Uh, why, this lighting's really in the iridescent pearl. You can see. Okay. What else have we got here? Interf okay. I also want to try their interferences to see um, how they compare. This is interference violet. If you can see, I don't know. We will see. Okay. You never know. Um, also would be good to use like as cell activators if I wanted to make um, you know how I make my TLP cell activators? This little piggy pigments. Adding some to paint is helpful. Here we have iridescent pale gold. I love testing out lots of different golds. Also can test out with, with a cell activator. I haven't used these before, so I don't know if I like them, but we'll see. Uh, ooh, transparent permanent orange. Sure, if we feel like being transparent in orange, why not? You never know. Uh... We have here phthalo turquoise, always a winner. So I definitely love my phthalo turquoise and I usually use golden. Um, so I thought I'd see what I thought. Uh, here we have quiller violet and it looks very ultramarine bluish actually. And I think I've used this color in another brand, I don't remember, but it's a possibility, right? And we have iridescent copper, which looks like it could be cool. It's not a very intense copper, to be honest, from what it looks like on the swatch, but we'll see. That was just this one pack. Now I have something else in here. So far, we're doing fun, fun things. Okay, what did I get here? I got TriArt Top, oh, I got this just to try, this TriArt Top Coat Hard Gloss. Now they have their liquid glass, which is awesome. Um, and, but I wonder if this will like kind of, you know, some people have a hard time using resin. Maybe this could be a good resin alternative. Okay. Ooh, look at this whole bag here. Oh my God. I, apparently I went overboard. I hope this is exciting for you guys. Okay. Let's go. Quinacridone Violet, always a winner, right? We have Cad Red Light. When I was a portrait artist, this was my favorite color. I'd like to add it into my blooms to see how that goes. Uh, ultramarine Violet, sure, why not? So basically I just have a bunch of like regular triart colors, but I want to share my idea with you. Maroon Permanent, sure, never try that, why not? Why don't I do the ones that, I'm gonna put this aside to be a color that I'm gonna mix in my next pour, okay? We have Maroon Violet, because I'm curious about that one. And I'm, I'm gonna tell you what my secret thing that I'm stealing is in a moment when I finish. Diox Violet. Okay, so it's not Diox Purple. It's Diox Violet. So I'm curious to see how that's going to look. Well, we'll mix that one up too with the maroon, right? Okay, we're getting an idea here. Okay, we have Brilliant Purple. Okay, we'll see. If you've watched my other videos, you know that lighter purples straight from the tube I have a hard time with them. They end up looking really muddy and dirty, so I like to make my own. 
quinacridone scarlet. Okay, so that is it. Do you wanna hear the idea I'm stealing from the TriArt uh, Instagram? What I saw them do is take their phthalo turquoise and mix it with their, bear with me, iridescent. And it made the coolest color. We're gonna do it right now, actually. That's how I roll. I'm gonna grab a little tile, hold on. All I'm gonna do on this tile is take a blue of each and mix them up. And what I saw in there uh, on their thing was like so pretty, I almost died. Okay, let's hope if, if I can recreate it. So here's just their regular old phthalo turquoise. Mm, okay, let's see if I even like it. One moment. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna just like spread it out to see. Okay, it's a, it looks like good. Okay, here she is. Okay, sorry that ring light's like really intense. Now, I'm going to take the iridescent pearl and mix it. And like, we are gonna say, OMG, that's so magical. So I'm just blooping it right on. I'm gonna do equal amounts, okay? Just so you see what I'm doing. Equal amounts. And I'm just gonna smooch it together. I guess doing it with a popsicle stick isn't like, you can do it with, you know, better tools. If you're organized, I wasn't really planning on doing this. Is this, yeah, yeah. Okay. So what you have is like a metallic blue I think TriArt should sponsor me, don't you think? Um, <laughs> tag TriArt. So, yeah, look at this. Okay. Ooh, Chris is here. Chris, look at this color I just made. Nice, right? Chris agrees. So, hello, OMG. Are we using, I have to use this right now. Okay, we're gonna do it. Um, and so with this, I don't know if I'm gonna use the other ones. Um, which I wanted to try, which is the maroon. Well, maybe, wait, I'm not. And what else did I want to try? The violet. Hold on, guys. Make it like this. So, my idea originally was to actually do a full background with this. Yeah. Should I? Should I be crazy? Okay, we're going to do it. And I'll mix up some other things and I'll let you know what they are. Uh, I'll get right back to you. Okay, I couldn't wait. I mixed them up. Now, this is what I was figuring. So this will be my base. I'm just going to do a really simple mini bloom vine, okay? So I have that uh, violet that I mixed up, by the way, which is called diox dioxine violet, which is much lighter than diox purple. I have teal pea enchantment. I have this maroon color. Um, they call it permanent maroon, but doesn't it look very, um, not magenta-y, but you know, it does have a pink to it, which I don't mind at all. I'm gonna top it off with TLP Latte, and on top of that, under my Haynes Gray Cell Activator, I have Amsterdam Titan Buff, and I'm using my Chaliart Haynes Gray Cell Activator, which is Australian Floetrol and Haynes Gray, about three to one, I do not measure. For my pillow today, what I have available is Sherwin Williams Color to Go. Now, normally the white white paint is in the green label. I asked them to tint the deep base white. The deep base on its own is thinner than the plain white. However, this just made it even thicker, so it's actually thicker than I wanted. So, but that's fine. I'm just going to hopefully it works. So let me put my paints to the side here. I really, really hope this blue. Now, of course, because I just mixed it, there's boublés, and I don't want too many boublés. Normally, you would wait a little bit, but you know me, super impatient, so there you go. I also want to be careful because sneakers peed on my 
um, apron, so I'm not wearing one. <laughs> okay. So I'm not going to put too much because it is thicker, so it is going to spin out, okay? And I do want negative space, so I am going to do this, and I might even give it a little spin so it comes out a bit more because I don't want to have to spin it too much because I want to see that negative space. Okay, we're good. Oh, I hope this color works. I'm gonna call this, because TriArt made it up, so I can't, you know, I'm gonna call it uh, TriArt Sparkly Turks, Turquoise, okay? And I'm just, because this is going to go off the edge, but I just wanna make sure, you know what I mean? I know this is gonna go off the edge, but, okay. Ooh, right? I hope the colors I chose, like, go with it. I don't know. I don't know if you can see how pretty this color is already. I'll show you in a proper light, but, okay. Come on, Lisa, you got this. We're just going, like, really minimal. Okay, bloom vine. Like, oop. Minimal. Clean. Minimal and clean. <laughs> My middle names. <laughs> Uh, that's not, a, that's a joke, if you know that. Okay. We're going to get that enchantment going. Oh, man. You know how nervous I get all the time when I have an idea? I just want it to work, you know? Okay. We got that. Oh, man. Can you hear Mo running around? Okay. We have the latte with things hanging from it. One minute. All right. And then we have this. We're so minimal. It's just crazy. Oops, that's okay because that's going to come off. Anyways. Okay. Oh, did I do it? I see like a few little bootlays. All right. Lisa Marvin. You got this. You can do it. You got it. Kind of a wonky. <laughs> okay. Don't judge her yet. Okay. Gonna get my little skewer. If I could find her. Gonna get a new one. Colors, not gonna lie, but it's pretty. It's like so shiny, I can't even see what I'm doing. I'm gonna stand over here. Now I'm gonna stretch her back and forth because I don't want all the goodness to come out. Like spin off because I like the edges the most, you know what I mean? So let's carefully stretch her this way. Okay. I still put too much paint on, even though. Oh, yep, sneakers are free. Okay, we're going to go slowly back this way. I'm still going to spin her, but I, I want to keep what's happening, you know? happening 
I'm gonna slowly and patiently tilt her. So I'm slow and I'm patient, you know? Mm. Now we're gonna go back this way. Really good colors. I'm gonna spin it a little bit. And I'm gonna make her go down a bit more because there's still some paint on there. Uh, should we go down this way? Yeah, we should. Okay. Like, yeah, and then. Okay. Kind of cool, if you ask me. All right, I'm going to show you the finished product in the warm light. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely think I want to do another one, right? I'm really liking this background color. And uh, let me know what you think. Have a good day. Bye. You know what? I have a little bit of this gorgeous, my new favorite color, blue left. Uh, why don't I do another one? And I'll just do a little bloom. So I'm going to make sure not to put too much paint, which I did last time. Not too much, but you know. Okay, that should do it. So um, for this, hmm, do I want to? So I have a choice right now, okay? I could either just pour it on the outsides to be the outsides, but I have a feeling no matter what, like I'm not going to have much negative space as hard as I try. So I'm going to do a little bit like I'll start, I'll leave a little bit of room in the middle, but I do really want this gorgeous color to be shown wherever it can, you know what I mean? So, like, I think I'm, a, I'm, this is my new obsession, and guess what? Maybe I'll like add this um, to paint to other colors to see what happens. But like, oh, like, oh, what if I make like a fake turquoise rock or something, you know? Like golds, how do I do? Ugh, I don't have anything to stop. Okay, that'll be another video. That's good, right? Okay, I'm only really doing small, okay? Like, I'm not, I, I do want, oh, well, that's like a little, I do want negative space, you know? We'll see if I can pull it off. So I'm gonna do the exact same layering, but just small, like, I'm gonna try to control myself. Get some food lays out. Okay, we'll see which one was better, like, my vine bloom, bloom vine with more negative space, or this one. Here's that latte. Going minimal. Okay, put her back. There she goes. Gonna do a bit of the Titan buff. Bloop, 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 bloop. Okay. And I don't think I'm gonna have that much negative space to be honest, but what else? There we go. Okay. <sighs> okay. We don't see a lot of that blue unless I blow out like this. I just want that blue to start showing in case these edges come off. Or, a, oops, it was a waste of a blue, right? So I'm gonna take my skewer and I don't know, right? Do something. 
get that blue in the picture a bit more. We don't know how it's gonna end up, but you never know. Okay? I'm just gonna like, who knows what I'm doing, actually. No one knows. Okay, I'm gonna start spinning it and like, you know, we'll move it back and forth. See how she's doing. Kind of cool still. Like, too bad I still have to spin it more because this would look cool, you know? But I do have to spin it, unfortunately. Sometimes, even though it looks good, you can't stop spinning. Because if I didn't keep spinning, it would crack as it dried because there's still too much paint left on. So, let's see how we're doing. Use a few more spins, but regardless, this color, right? It's pretty. And I'm pretty happy with it, and I feel like we're all gonna get sick of it because I feel like I'm going to use it. Quite a bit. I think I'm actually good. I don't think I have to spin anymore. Hold on. Tilt. It's like we're barely moving. I'm gonna do one more to be safe. Okay, I'm reading to the light. Which one did you like better? Bloom vine or just full bloom? Um you can't see like much of the blue, but I guess it's like an outline of it, right? Thanks for joining. Bye-bye.